Hi and welcome to another how-to video on youtube.com slash home edition. In this video I'll show you how to install computer memory. Now look at this DDR memory chip. Notice the little notch on the circuit board of the chip at the bottom. They cut that little notch to help you position your memory properly when you install your RAM. Now your motherboard will have a plastic tab that will fit directly into your RAM chip when you position your memory properly. It will basically fit right into that notch. So there's only one way that you could install your memory into those memory slots. Take a good look at your memory module and your motherboard slot when you're installing your RAM and you'll see that your memory can only be installed one way. Another thing to know about memory is that your motherboard manufacturer has a specific order in which you have to install your chips if you are not going to be filling up every single memory slot. Now I have four memory banks on my motherboard but I only have two RAM sticks. I looked at my motherboard manual and I'm going to be using slot 1 and 3 to enable the double data rate function. Now, if you don't follow your motherboard instructions on memory placement, it's possible that you can degrade the performance of the memory you actually purchased because you placed it into the wrong banks. So I highly suggest that you follow the exact placement according to your motherboard manual to get the, the performance you paid for. If you don't have your motherboard manual on hand, simply go to the motherboard manufacturer website and look up your motherboard model number to download it. Usually there's a sticker on your motherboard that actually says the model number or it's printed on there somewhere. So look it up if you don't have it because it is important that you place your memory modules in the exact position they're supposed to be in. Well, thanks for watching another one of my Katsu videos and be sure to subscribe to be informed of new videos and also click thumbs up if this video was useful. Thanks.